In this video, I'm going to show you how to rearrange equations, specifically the SUVAT equations. The SUVAT equations are the ones that you need to know for the forces unit in physics. Um, I've previously showed you how to rearrange equations in a previous video, so you can always look back at some of those in the channel. But today I'm going to focus specifically on the SUVAT equations. And the first one that we're going to start with is V equals U plus A T, where V is the final velocity, U is the initial velocity, A is the acceleration, and T is the time. Okay? And you might be asked a question where you have to find A, the acceleration. Okay? And in order to do that, I need to get A on its own. So the first thing that we need to do is get rid of the ones that we don't need. So I don't need U on this side, okay? because I want A on its own. So the way to do that is I take U over to this side. Okay? And if we change sides, we change sign. At the moment, U is a positive value. So when we take U onto this side, it becomes negative. Okay, so we get V minus U equals A T. Okay, the next thing I need to do is get rid of the T. And at the moment, this is A times T. So we always have to do the opposite in order to get rid of what we want. So the opposite of multiplying is dividing. And whatever I do on one side, I do on the other side. So here, I have to divide by t, and whatever I do on one side, I do the, on the other. Okay, and I have to divide everything by t. Okay, and here we've got t on the top, t on the bottom, they cancel out. So all that we left with is if we re rewrite the equation so that we have a on its own, is a equals v minus u divided by t. Okay, So this is the final velocity minus the initial velocity. We can also say that this is the change in velocity. Sometimes you might be given an equation where, sorry, sometimes you might be given a question where they don't actually specifically say the final velocity or the initial velocity, but they tell you the change in velocity, Okay, so which is the value on the top divided by t on the bottom, and you can find acceleration. Okay. Now, some of you might not understand why we have to change, when we change sides, we have to change sign. So I'm going to show you with a different method. If I have to get rid of u on this side, that is the same as saying I have to take away. So whatever I do on one side, I do to the other side. So I can also write this as v minus u equals u. I'm trying to get rid of u, so I have to minus u plus a t. And here u minus u is 0, so anything minus the same number is 0, so basically they cancel out. So all that we're left with is V minus U equals AT, which is exactly what we had in the previous example. And again, if I want to find acceleration, then I have to get rid of the T, and the opposite of multiplying is dividing, so I have to divide by T here, and whatever I do on one side, I do on the other. Okay. T cancel out because the top and bottom are the same. Again, if I rewrite this equation, I have A equals V minus U divided by T, which is also the same as the change in velocity divided by T. Okay, I hope that's clear. Have a go yourself and practice just rearranging the equations and see if you get the same result.